Welcome to a new episode of Nate's Corner, the show about anything and everything. And so, um, with uh, one of the last episodes of Nate's Corner that was um, a fan favorite of, um, well, many of my fans, um, the four, Sony 4K Blu-ray player um, open box opening, I thought, okay, well, whenever I get my next toy, device, whatever you want to call it, I'll do an unboxing episode of that one because you guys just really love that 4K Blu-ray player um, Sony unboxing. So I thought, okay, well, um, I got this uh, new device and uh, <laughs> you guys will probably dig this episode, really love it. So yeah, I got the uh, Roku Ultra. And I'm gonna open it in front of you guys right now. I saved it. I just got it. I just got it. Um, yeah, here's a picture of it. Here's the Roku um, the streaming device, the remote, and then the earbuds. And um, yeah, uh, this is what it looks like um, on my computer screen. A picture of it. And so um, yeah, this is a, a 4K HDR um, media streaming device, and. Um, it uh, yeah it has tons and tons of apps on it. it has Netflix it has uh, HBO Hulu um, Amazon Video Spotify NBC uh, Nickelodeon um, ESPN Watch uh, Watch ABC Showtime um, it has some video games all oh, in the remote turns into a controller so uh, let's get started um, the moment. Some of you have been waiting for the unboxing of this episode. So, um, here we go. Some of the comments on the 4K Blu-ray player episode, and so some of the comments stated that uh, you guys wanted me to uh, show the device to the camera more closely. So I will be sure to do this, do that on this episode. And uh, yeah, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Got it. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to kind of squeeze. Um, and, uh, in between those, okay, Let's here. Ah, here is the media device, and, um, yeah, it's pretty lightweight, and, okay, this is, um, the mo this is, yeah, the Roku Ultra, that is the highest end model of the latest line of Roku uh, streaming devices. And um, this has a optical connection. It has a um, HDMI, the Ethernet port, and AC power cord uh, adapter, and then USB port. And then, um, let's see here. Here is an instruction manual, and then here is the earbuds, the remote control, Let's see, batteries, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys a close up of the uh, remote control. Yep. 
So here's the remote control. And then, yeah, you can plug in the earbuds to the headphone jack here. And then, um, so you can turn it into a video game controller, A, B, and directional pad right here. And then, I don't really play video games much, so I'll probably just use it as a standard remote. Just, oh, and also another perk to the higher grade model is you can point in virtually any direction uh, with a remote and the Roku will read it. And uh, yeah, it has um, oh yeah, a microphone here because you can talk to it as well. So um, yeah, that is the Roku Ultra 4. And yeah, of course you need HDMI uh, uh, 2.0. Uh, preferably B to get um, the HDR and 4K signal and then you'll need a 4K TV of course with HDR and then um, if you're plugging into your receiver you will um, need an uh, a, again an AV receiver that does um, HDCP 2.2 uh, compatibility and um, yeah so this thing uh, does a lot of streaming apps. I primarily got it for the UFC app and um, a handful of other apps uh, just so I have um, something to stream the UFC fights on um, from an actual streaming device. And yeah, I mean I have the UFC app on other devices as well but it's just like to have another option but also to be able to carry it because like I can't take um, I couldn't necessarily take, uh, pick up my TV and bring it to a friend's house. But the streaming device I could use, oh, this, this streaming device has Wi-Fi as well. So I could bring it to a friend's house, plug into his TV set, and then log into my UFC Fight Pass account using the UFC app on here. And then uh, watch some live UFC fights or watch some UFC replays. So, um... Yeah, there's benefits to having a streaming device, and that's just one of many benefits to having a streaming device. And yeah, this is um, the most decked out one. It runs for about $120, $130, depending. I got it on sale, so I got a, a good deal on it. But yeah, here is uh, another picture of it again. So yeah, that wraps up this one, and I'll do a reposting of the 4K Blu-ray player in case you guys missed that one. And until then, see ya.